Hello and welcome back to Infinitude. This is the View Fundamental Series Part 6 in which we will cover event handling. Let's dive into the VS Code. At first, we will create a new component. Let's give it a name Event Handling. Let's say Event Handling dot View. Now we will use the view snippet tool that is v base and enter let's give it a name that is event handling now let's register this in app.view let's use the snippet and then Components slash event handling dot view. Let's copy this and now let's register and let's use this custom tag in the HTML. Now let's go to the event handling. At first, let's use the p tag and hello from event handling. Now let's open the terminal control and tilde. If you are using npm, then npm run serve. If you are using yarn, then yarn serve. Enter. Let's copy this, go to the browser. We can see the hello from event handling. Now let's use the event handling. At first we will use the click event handling. Let's go to the VS code. At first let's create a div. And inside a div cart I'll use the double parenthesis let's type cart let's go to the script and then add data function and let's return this cart instance and I will give it a churro Let's go to the browser. Here we can see card zero. Now we will create a click event in which we will add to card and then we will remove from the card. Let's create a button and give it a name add to card. And then let's use the on click that is v dash on and then click and let's give the name of the method that is add to cart I'll copy this let's go to here and comma and then let's create method Let's create a function and here let's try this dot cart plus plus and now let's create another button which we will use to remove from cart remove from cart and this time we will use the sort hand that is it click let's define the method
cart. I'll copy this. Let's go to method, comma, parentheses, and then let's use this dot cart minus minus. Now let's go to the browser. Here we can see the cart and then add to cart and remove from cart button. Let's press the add to cart button. Here we can see the cart has been increased. Let's open up the developer tool. Here we can see the cart that is one. If I press the cart increases to two and the two. If we press the remove from cart, it will decrease the cart by minus one. Now let's go to the VS code. Now I will create a query that is view let's create a object with the key id that is one and then name fill logo and then image I have already I have already copied the image URLs I will just copy and paste here you can use your local data images I'll just paste and then comma and then I will duplicate by pressing alt and shift and then down arrow let's go two and I will change this to component and then I will change the URL Let's give it a three and then life cycle and let's paste and now I will create a image instance where we will just paste this URL and then let's go to the HTML where I will create a new div and then inside that div I will create a image tag and then I will copy this image and then paste and then I will use the rebind Let's go to the browser. Here we can see the Vue.js logo that we have used over here. Now I will map this area using the li. That is li tag. Enter. And then I will just copy this and I will use the V4 parenthesis and then item item ID in just paste that and then let's use the key and item. 
ID. I just copy this and then paste here and dot name. Let's go to the browser. I'll first close this. Here we can see the few logo component and lifecycle that we have used over here. Now we will use the mouse over event handling to change the image from these images. Let's create a method at the right and then mouse hover event mouse over and then we will give it a name that is update image and then let's pause the image that is item dot image image yes, image I'll just copy this let's go to method and create that method parenthesis and inside parenthesis I'll just sorry we have the argument that is image and then let's use that image to this dot image equals to image now let's go to the browser here we can see the image just changes when we hover to component it is too big so let's fix this I'll just go to the image tag and then I will fix the height height 300 let's go to the browser here we can see the image let's hover to the life cycle we can see the image that is of life cycle and let's go to the component and view logo we have used the mouse hover event now we will use the key up event let's go to vs code and then i will create another div and then let's create a label and then i will give it a name text input and then let's create a input tag let's use the model and then text let's copy this and let's create this text instance and let's use the key up event that is under it key up and then I will trigger this input event with enter that is enter and let's and let's give the method name that is enter text and just copy this and let's go and create a method comma over here in parenthesis And then I will create another instance that is display 
text. And I will use this this dot display text is equals to this dot text. Now let's display this text. I will use the p tag double curly braces and I'll just paste this and then let's go, let's go to the browser browser. Here we can see the mouse hover mouse over event. I will just create hello and then press enter. We have created a key up event handling and triggered that in enter. Let's create from uh, let's type from and then enter. Now what I will do is I will just clear out the input message from text that is from this text I will clear out this text this dot text is equals to empty string let's go to the browser and here let's type hello and then enter we have clear out the text and before that we've printed out the message hello from hello from infinitude we have covered few of the event handlings if you want to learn more then you can go to vuejs.org next video we will dive into methods and computed properties